Hi everybody, hope you are doing good today and I have received few FAQs on H1B filing. I received emails and I want to clarify a um, few of the questions that I received. The first one, imagine something heaven here. Uh, life is very uh, hard work, very pathetic also. Uh, I'm not discouraging, uh, I'm not giving any judgments. Don't come, come like that. I'm giving the ground realities. Uh, honestly, I don't recommend uh, because life is not that easy initially if you work for 10 years in Indian companies. Uh, you don't see any red carpet here as soon as you come down. But if you come through companies, that's a different scenario. If you come on L1 visa, L2 where your spouse can work. If you come on H1, then your spouse H, H4 cannot work until she gets a green card. So these things you have to seriously analyze. And uh, before you write email also, like I explain, I have shown myvisajob.com. So check on it, verify it, call the employer, find out why they are charging money, why, how can they place. And uh, don't, so for those guys who pay money and come down, so those who don't pay, uh, then company, the Indian company employers will take care of well. They have a guest house, company guest house, accommodation, they'll give a training on latest technologies they will place you and they, one year is common they take you have to work for salary then you move for percentage and you have to search for projects so these things you have to be uh, realistic uh, rather than say i go to h1 i go to us on h1b i buy a house in jubilee it's no that is theory practical is really very tough i mean there are instances uh, friends uh, my guy made it get uh, ill health also I mean because of the sudden projects over and the number of layers any guys uh, if you for example if you pay money to somebody and uh, like Kumar is a small room a company like this example I'm giving and where do you stay so you have to analyze those things if your cousins friends it's okay but as an employer, I'm on H1B and I'm looking for jobs and I bring you to America on H1B. Uh, where do I can accommodate you, right? So I'm dying for my projects. I'm searching for it. So how can I search projects for you? Where I don't have marketing team or anybody with me. And my aim is to collect $6,000 from you and after you land here, then when you get a project, you have to search project on your own. And then when you hook up to any US client or any layers, then I take money from you, from your salary, right? 50%. You get $100 hourly building first one year, you have to work for salary. Then I take $50 from your salary, per hour from your pay for one year. I loot basically money, right? Pay money when you approach for anybody and you never know. See, for example, you don't know who is Kumar. But if I'm asking you six thousand dollars upfront, how do you give? What do you do if I don't return, right? So you have to analyze all this before you send in email inquiry to any friends or anybody. I mean, you check online the company credibilities. Now, honestly, it's an unethical business. If somebody is asking money, I don't prefer and I don't recommend. Thanks for watching this video.